From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Students Accommodation Real Estate Investment Trust, Growth Point Student Accommodation, recently took media on a tour of some of their student residences. Skulkberger was on site. Growth Point showcased some of its modern and safe student residence developments, which are all located close to tertiary education institutions. The locations and amenities of the residences are aimed at supporting students to have a fulfilling and productive tertiary education, with all the buildings having backup power and water, as well as kitchen, laundry and recreation facilities. Additionally, the company's target is to grow its student accommodation portfolio to 12 billion rand worth of assets and achieve a JC listing within the next seven years. Growth Point took media on a tour of some of its newest student buildings in Pretoria and Johannesburg. Growth Point Investment Partners Head George Machania gives insight into some of the design philosophies behind the residences and opportunities for growth. For us, the most important overriding factor is always about location. Um, we do realize that students are no longer staying in university residence. Uh, over the years, university residence have not increased. Uh, so students want to stay as close to university as possible, immediately close if they can, so that they can really integrate with the university of life, with the university life. So for us, that's absolute, absolute key. Then when you start looking at the building inside, um, gone are the days of just a bed and a room. Now it's around the life behind, uh, behind, behind the accommodation. So mostly the physical facilities that you have there, the amenities, you always need proper uh, outdoor places for the kids, for the students to play. You need entertainment areas, whether it's some kind of sport, whether it's foosball or uh, netball or soccer. And then, um, in addition to that, you also need to have the wellness around the students. So each of the properties have someone who looks at the wellness of the students, uh, student life, that looks at activating the places, whether it's sports activities, uh, lifestyle opportunities, for example, wine testing, preparing for exams, all those things become an integral part of uh, the offering of, uh, of student life. We've seen a Vets University, for whatever reason, hasn't really attracted a lot of private accommodation uh, and we see that as an opportunity. Uh, importantly, uh, the Bramfontein area uh, is a key important node very close to university and the closest side of the university. Uh, we're starting a new, we st did a new development that we opened at the beginning of this year. Uh, we realized that the demand there was quite big. We're building a new building right next to it. Uh, which, we co which we have actually commenced, which we hope is going to complete the end of next year. Uh, the other opportunity for us that we have seen is the medical campus. Uh, the medical campus is a bit isolated away from main campus and there hasn't been any accommodation that has been built in that area. So we have seen a fantastic opportunity. That's literally a, a two minute walk from the medical campus. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.